I got a lot to endure, there ain't no stopping the storm Homie, the top is a warm, so chill I think I need my light bulb fixed That's what lately, I ain't been getting hyped on shit Life's a journey, you gotta find your niche I'm leaving this tight space because I don't fit And I'm moving away My whole life, I'ma start it from scratch As an artist, I'm trapped What is up guys? So we're here at Mount Moriah Auto Sales, um, sister location of Carville Auto Group. So I'm gonna kick today's video off with a giveaway. So guys, uh, Brance was kind enough to hook me up with this uh, phone and we passed 100 subscribers. So I'm gonna give this phone away. The uh, requirements that I have is that you uh, leave a like, leave a comment and guys subscribe to the channel and make sure, make sure you watch at least five minutes of the video and leave a comment describing what you like most about today's video and the future videos, because it's gonna be at least the next three videos and then I'll decide um, who I'm gonna give the phone away to. So stay tuned, guys. All right, so kicking off the review, we have the uh, Mercedes LED Jewel headlights, dual LED. Look at that, just looks very, very nice. Then we have the AMG badge in the grill and underneath here you can see it has a uh, forward facing um camera and then we also have the uh, parking sensors all around the sides and we have this nice looking gaping grill at the bottom coming along to the side we have the amg uh, brake calipers with the slotted and drilled rotors then we have the uh, v8 twin turbo badge and this blacked out side mirror right here and we also have a little camera that's mounted under the bottom there we go all right and we have these smallish looking rims i think they could be a bit bigger but that's just my personal preference and we also have the sensors along the back see the e63 logo in the stating that it's the s model of the amg then we have quad tip exhaust then we have our little diffuser on along the bottom Let's check out this trunk real quick. Alrighty, so coming inside the trunk, we have this little slot here. We just store something. Then I believe this is the first day kit. Then we have two lights equipped over here. One on this side, one on the other side. A decent sized trunk. And we also have the uh, lock switch for the doors. And then we also have the well, actually, that's for the trunk. Huh. This car is also equipped with the uh, panoramic sunroof. And then we also have the uh, cameras mounted in the front for the uh, driving modes and the uh, lane keeping assist and all of those technology functions. All right, so looking over the engine bay, guys, we have. 616 horsepower and 626 pound feet of torque this engine is hand built by none other than this guy right here and we have our strut tower brace right here just something a little simple still dresses up the engine and over here we have our battery that's protected by a little cover just look at how nice this engine is built guys it's very very nice you can feel the quality right here gosh guys if i could afford this i'd buy it 
So we have, for this uh, door panel, we have the unlock function, the lock function, we have the adjustable headrest, we have the, uh, where we control the middle torso area, and then we have the bottom cushion, memory seats, we have auto up, auto down, functions on all four windows, then we have the uh, mirrors, we can fold them, power folding, then we have the uh, trunk button, then moving along, we have our AMG badge, it's illuminated as you can tell, get a good angle all right then moving along into the interior we have our parking brake and then we have the release here that you pull whenever you press that all the way down this is somewhat out of date guys but this car you know it's a bit older they refreshed it already so you don't have to worry about that any longer and if you can look closely right there we have ambient lighting looks very nice and guys that's, that's another thing those damn lights Incandescent bulbs are out of place in this high dollar of a car. It was $107,000 when it was brand new, but they're currently asking for $45,000 here at Mount Moriah Auto Sales. And then you can see there's another incandescent bulb down there. All right, guys, so moving along to the uh, headlight section, we have the parking lights. Then we have um, some of the lights turned on, focus camera. Then we have our auto headlights and we have our headlights. So we come along here to the steering wheel. We have our directional buttons. We have the back button. Then we have the voice control. We have our media functions where you can well pick up and hang up and mute. Then we have our cruise control function down there. The steering wheel is made from Alcatara or Suede. It's one of the two. I, I forgot what it was. But we also have our paddle shifter for up and then down on the other side. We have the uh, digital gauge here or digital cluster. All right, so you can see the S and the AMG. Then we, the middle part is just a digital part. Everything else is analog, but you know, that's still pretty good. And then we have the bi-turbo part right there. And we do have our push button start. We have our media functions here. Then we have the volume knob that has the lights here. It illuminates whenever it's on, pretty neat. Eco function, our parking sensors, we can turn that off. Air conditioned seats and heated seats. Then down here we have all our air conditioning functions here. Then we have comfort, sport, sport plus, and manual. Trash control. I'm not exactly sure what that is, guys. I'm gonna have to look that up. Our AMG button. We have our back button and we have our control knob. Then we also have some of our seat functions here that we can control. Mercedes still gave love to the passengers. We have our memory seats as I mentioned earlier. Then we have our glove compartment. It's a uh, two to year storage, closing that up. We have storage where we can put some here, you know, just to keep the car a little bit more organized. And we do have a Harman Kardon audio sound system. Then we also have controls for our panoramic sunroof. You know, you press this and it'll open and close or whatnot. All right guys, so this wouldn't be a review without two things, the exhaust clip and testing out the sound system. So let's do that real quick. We're gonna see what this car sounds like with the engine on. All right, so now we're about to go ahead and see what the car sounds like on the inside. All right, and now we're gonna test to see how this car sounds with the sound system turned up. It's a dope dual stage. Gotcha. Guys, so I finished uh, driving the car, as you can see in that uh, previous clip. Um, my initial thoughts are that the BMW 750i was pretty much better. It rode a lot better. This one, you could tell that it's uh, it could use some help. As far as the uh, platform goes, it's, it's a bit dated, so that's the reason why I think that it's not as good as the uh, BMW 750i. They're not the same competitors. I know that. Guys, don't, don't give me flack on that, but you know, it's, uh, it's just one of those traits, guys. But other than that, 
See you guys in the next video.